Hello YouTube, I fix it all here, team I fix it all. Um, I thought part three of this woodshed roof rust killing project would have been put me putting a second coat on, but it's not. Uh, so I made me a, like a little quick, <clears throat> I'm just going along and just loosening up the the phosphoric acid because what happens is when this phospho hits rust if the rust is thin enough thin enough it will blacken and also I don't have no damn water up here it'll waterproof it'll create like a glassy looking sheen I don't know if you can catch that or not but it's it coats I've got to go back and look at what the hell that's called, what phosphoric acid does to rust. After it converts it, it becomes iron something, iron phosphate? I, frig, I can't remember exactly what happens, but um, it gets converted to something. Uh, one of the things that you need to know about phosphoric acid that I've mentioned in previous phosphoric acid videos is you have to leave some rust behind in order for the product to work. That's why in some of my videos it's called least amount of effort, maximum amount of results. So what I intended to do um, when I just did part two, and it's the same day and I'm doing part three, and it's the evening time. And for all you people out there, Looking at my shadow, can you tell me about what time it is? Just by looking at my shadow. Yep. If you know that your shadows are the shortest <laughs> at high noon, and those shadows all will point north as a result, about what time is it right now? So, um... I've got a problem because I was just lightly raking. My thoughts were, let me just rake some of this loose again and add another coat and get it blackened like the areas up here, which is what I want. Because once you get metal to that state, you're good for a long time. Um, so I've been over here for a little while and I'm actually running out of rust. I've got a problem. Hopefully there's enough, I'm leaving enough rust behind for my second coat. Otherwise, if you don't have enough rust, phosphoric acid could induce rust. It is a very weird conversation. But from what I understand, you could cause rust by spraying phosphoric acid on metal that's in good shape. So like right here, I've got a little bit of rust showing uh, right there. I'm down to the galvanized metal, but since I'm using this wire brush, and I guarantee to you the galvanic coating was pretty damn thick on this older metal roof on my woodshed, but still I'm etching the galvanic coating. It could introduce more rust, so I might be pissing in the wind here. Uh, I've got some rust still available to me to justify spraying, but I just wanted to show you the difference by just lightly um, raking along. Whoops. Okay. I can't even. I need two hands for this. Let me see if I can do it. Dang it. That's all I've been doing is that right there. Just so I can get that part showing just knock the top edge off just bust it up a little bit another example oh, I should. There, we go. there you go just do some of that that's all i'm trying to do is just cut that loose and throw another coat on but what i'm running into is i'm now i'm starting to run out of rust so I'll call this part three. 
I don't want to make my videos too long. Um, and then I'll spray another coat on and call that part four. And then we'll wait for tomorrow. I'll call that part five. All of it the same title. If you're interested in any, anything about uh, any one of my topics, generally my pattern for YouTube videos is it is the same title. It just ends with PT1 part two or part three like building those garden beds. I think I was up to like part 14 or something. Um, raised garden beds. So, all right guys, see ya.